What's going on guys? So I think I mentioned in the intro video that I thought the 7 was maybe pushing some water out of the driver's side bank. Well, I started it up this morning to take it out of the shop so I could work on something else. And I saw this. So you're definitely going to see me put a new engine in this car on this channel sooner rather than later. But today, we're going to do the only logical thing. And that is to ignore the fact that this thing is leaking watery oil like the Exxon Valdez. And we're going to build a new bumper for the Ford. So let's get after it. All right guys, so we're gonna start building a bumper for the 63 Ford today. Now honestly, I kinda of like this thing with no bumper, just cause the front end's really flat, and I always kinda of like that look, but just for safety's sake, cause I've been driving this thing a whole lot, pretty much every day, and also to protect the truck, uh, we're gonna fab one up today. So, I already got my fancy little cardboard blueprint sketch. That's pretty much everything you need to know right there. So I can build this thing. It's gonna be pretty low profile. I don't really want it sticking out from the truck too far. Maybe, you know, just enough to cover the frame rails or a little bit further than that. But uh, I do potentially want to put a winch mount in it later. Or maybe just a receiver hitch so you can put a winch on a receiver plate in it. I don't know. We'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. But uh, I'm going to start making this thing out of cardboard. So let's get into it. Oh, also, since I've been driving this thing so much, I've kind of decided that I do, after all, like the mirrors. I actually like the fact that they're really close to the truck. So... There's a crisis averted there, because I don't have to rebuild those things. But, it's going to be bumpers today, boys. Alright guys, so we're going to do something kind of like that. It's nice and low profile from the front. Doesn't really stick out too far, but it'll also leave enough room behind it for a winch between that and the radiator. So I think I'm going to move in that direction. Also, it's got enough room up here for me to stand on so I can work under the hood, which has been a big problem on this thing lately. Now, I ran into a couple little problems when I was measuring up for this thing, so let me just remove this. Now, I've known for a while that the frame rails are a little bit crooked on this thing. Now, they're only tweaked a little bit right in front of the spring purchase, so I never really, never really cared too much about it before. It didn't really make much of a difference, but now it's going to because if I just build around these things, this bumper is going to be crooked because I put the body on straight, uh, even though the frame rails were a little bit bent on the very, very front. So I'm going to have to work around that. The second thing is, I guess when I built this whole cross member here, the radiator support that is, which I fabricated all from scratch, I actually put the front end on a little bit crooked. So this side is a little bit closer to the frame rail than this side is. Or maybe, I guess, now that I'm thinking about it, it could be just that the frame rail is bent in a little bit and that's messing with my measurement. I'm not really sure, but I'm gonna get down to the bottom of that now. But I don't wanna build the bumper around that. I wanna straighten out the front of the body before I put the bumper on. So I might have to build a couple little spacers for the fender supports in there, just to kind of move one end over and get the other end centered. So I'm gonna start doing that now, and then we'll start building the actual bumper. All right, guys, so you probably noticed there I was actually able to fix the fenders, which is great. Now, I kind of actually just cheated it. I just moved the bottom of the fenders over the right direction. The top is still a little bit crooked. And the reason why I didn't complete that project is because these three bolts here, where they go through, I'm going to have to notch those out so I can move the whole front end over that way a little bit. Uh, but for the scope of today's project, I really just want the bumper to fit right. So now I can do that because they're evenly spaced across the frame rails. 
and I will come back and revisit actually getting the front end on there square later. Now, the way I want to do this is everything is based off the mounts. So, I want the mounts, which are these big 5 8 steel plates, to come straight out from the frame, and they are going to become shackle loops that go through the plate in the front of the bumper. So if you hook up to that, if you try to drag something, or if you tow this truck, it doesn't actually go through the plate steel bumper, but the force is all going to go directly through to the frame, which is really the best way to do this type of stuff. And also, this whole bumper is going to be 3 16 steel plate, so that's pretty strong, it's pretty heavy, but if you took a direct impact right to the front, uh, it, would, it would definitely fold up like a taco. So I'm going to put a piece of probably 2x4 rectangular tubing right between the frames here also. And then I'm going to attach that to the two 5 8 steel plates. So I really just have a lot of material right in here, just in case I have an incident with it. Uh, it's really all about trying to make this thing as safe as possible at this point. So, like I said in the first place, I've been driving it a lot, so I'd be lying if I said I wasn't at least a little bit concerned about that. Uh, so we're going to get into the mounts right now, and we're just going to start fabricating this thing up.
All right, guys, so I'm sure you've noticed I've spent a ton of time mounting up these, these tabs, the brackets, just to try to get them square and level, both with the body and from the top height to the ground. And also, I guess, to some extent with the frame rails. And it's been such a pain because of what I said before, you know, this frame rail is moved over and it's lower than this frame rail. Maybe the other way around. This one's bent up and over. I'm not sure, but it doesn't really matter. On this side, I have some spacers in there, which is going to be fine. And the reason why is because the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put a piece of 2x4 rectangle tubing across them. So once I do that, the relationship between these two is going to be set in stone. That's going to be it. And if they're not perfectly square and level, then I'm going to look at this thing for the rest of however long I have this and be pissed off about it. So just like any project, you're best off spending your time at the foundational level. And then it'll come together the way you want it to. So next thing I'm going to do is take these things off. I'm going to put some three quarter inch holes through the front, kind of in the same spot. Uh, and that'll be for a shackle D-rings later. Then we'll come in, we'll weld in the two by four. It's also going to bolt in right there. So we'll have opposing mounts on both sides. It's going to be real strong. After that, we can start welding on the plate steel. See this thing start coming together. All right, guys, so that's probably going to be about it for this episode. I think we got pretty much where we wanted today. I got a nice, strong foundation here. We got all the crash support we could possibly want. We got shackle mounts. It's bolted in solid. It's nice and low profile. 
And best of all, even though the frame rails were really crooked, I managed to get this thing level. It's level to the body, it's level off the ground, it's level side to side. This thing's gonna look great when we're done. So on the next episode, we are going to finish this up. We'll get the plate steel all on it. We got a couple other features going into it too, which are gonna be pretty interesting. And then after that, I actually have the next video all lined up also. I got something else going wrong with this truck that I'd like to sort out, so we'll work on that together. Guys, I got content coming in hot for you guys. All kinds of videos going on right now. I have projects for days. So go hit that notification bell, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you on the next Randman Parked.